So there is the color. The color has a notch of the same part to divide the color into two. So that is the neck of the shape folded into two, and we are trying to use it to gauge half of the neck of the color. You know, of the color. So you realize that the neck of the shape is a bit smaller than the color of the shape. So the next thing we will do is we will cut the neck of the shape into size. The arrow is showing the center of the um, color, so it's the size now. So the first thing you do is you you close the edge of the neck of the shape with the, with the color on the other side, not where you are going to start from, where you are going to end. Then you go back to where you are going to start from and start making the color. And as you are sewing the color down, you are sewing the excess, the one under the the two under colors. So you are going to sew it down and make sure that this the center of the shape and the center of the color come together at this point where the arrow should. That's why I slow down there. Then you go all the way to the end and you know try to fix it in. So the next thing you do is you are going to instead of starting starting from the edge of the of the collar, you start from somewhere on top of the collar so that you can run smoothly when you get to this point where I am right now. So you just get shifted in using a needle, then using your reverse you get to the mid edge of the um, under collar, then you sew in. So there is no reverse, there is no way that side is going to get rough. Then when you are about to get to the other edge, you do the same thing you did on this edge on the other edge so that there is not going to be a situation where the collar is a bit longer than the, the, the neck of the shirt. So you do the same thing, you start from the top of the under collar and you go round then round. So then you finish your collar. That's all you have to do. You just need to fix your collar. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe so that we can make more beautiful videos for you. If you learned and you have questions, write in the comment below. Thank you.